Snyder news around town. People are joining the fight to save lives in the 11th annual Walk Like Mad and 5K Dash event to eliminate drunk and drugged driving. 17's Justin White captured the powerful stories of the victims left behind from crashes with impaired drivers. At the Walk Like Mad Dash, survivors of impaired driving are at the top of mind. More than 11 DUI arrests are made in Kern County each day. That equals about 4,000 every year. It can take up to 80 instances of impaired driving before an offender is finally arrested for the first time. Sometimes it's too late. Um, that day, we were having fun with family. The kids were running around playing and hanging out. And, you know, it was time to go home. On January 21st, 2018, Lorraine Duran's night was as normal as any other until she, her husband, and 21-month-old Liliana began to make their way home. At the same time, a man stumbled his way to his car from the bar. And he was traveling 119 miles per hour. No brakes. Ultimately, we came in his pathway. The worst nightmare for a parent became Duran's reality. They had planned an Elmo-themed second birthday party for Liliana, a party she didn't make it to see. As soon as we got to the hospital, there was people in and out of the, in and out of her room running and trying to do everything that they could do to help save her, but ultimately they couldn't. Tragedies like Duran's were commonplace at the park at Riverwalk today, including a similar story from Jessica McGee. My friends and I were on our way home. We were coming home from a baseball game, and we were hit by a driver under the influence of drugs and alcohol. I lost both of my friends that day, and I was the only survivor. Stories like these are why they run. They run for those who can't anymore, whether it's from loss of limbs or loss of life. George Barrientos helped organize the event, the 11th annual in Bakersfield. And really this is an opportunity to bring victims of DUI crashes together, to raise awareness of the damage that DUI driving and, and crashes can cause to our community, and to raise funds for the local chapter of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Duran said she hadn't done a booth in a few years, but she did one in honor of Lily today with the hashtag Mad for Lily. Her booth featured a coloring corner where kids, maybe kids Lily's age, can draw. All this, plus support from Mothers Against Drunk Driving, may never be enough to stitch her wounds. But it's a start. You know, she would be some of these kids' age. She would be eight and, you know, wanting to do things and maybe coming to events like this. And I want to have stuff for the kids to have as well and do. And, and the proceeds of this walk will go to help fund school programs against impaired driving, fund DUI checkpoints, and support the families of victims. And remember, if you go out, plan accordingly, drink responsibly, and if you're under the influence of any substance, never, ever get behind the wheel. From the park at Riverwalk, Justin White, 17 News.